we're going to do the eight brocades today. Um, I've taught this as a as a longer class in the past, and I'm going to do that again. But we're trying. I'm trying something new here now, just to uh, we'll just have a little practice session here. <clears throat> So uh, I'm Jason Rumor, for those of you who haven't met me, and I've uh, been teaching this kind of work for a while now. These are uh, ancient practices, thousands of years old. Um, they didn't have uh, a science and MRIs and things like that back then like we do now, but we are finding through science, through the study of uh, the human fascia, that um, movements like we're going to do today are really good for you. Um, they're, they're, they're good for your nerves, they're good for your blood vessels, uh, they're good for your fascia, they're just good all around and, uh, and they don't hurt to do. There's no, this particular style, there's no sweating involved. I suppose you could get really vigorous with it and sweat, but we're not going to do that today. <clears throat> okay, so eight simple exercises. And to start, uh, you'll want to be standing. And you want to stand just a, what's a comfortable position for you. For me, uh, my feet are pointed out a little bit. I'm not, my feet aren't pointed. If I point my feet straight ahead, uh, that's the way I walk. But if I stand, it, it's not really comfortable to stand that way. So my feet like to be turned out a little bit. You do you. You also want your weight to be a little forward. If you go ahead and rock your weight all the way forward so much that your heels lift up off the floor a bit, that's too much. You don't want that far forward. If your weight goes all the way back onto your heels so your toes lift up a little bit, that's too far back. So you want to be a little forward. So if you were to, if you were to imagine uh, taking a playing card or a business card and sliding it underneath your heel just enough you there's just enough pressure on your heel that you could slide a card under there and it and it, and it would fit um, if there's any pain or discomfort having your weight forward like that and not on your heels then uh, then shift your shift your weight so you're comfortable standing there okay so to the best of your ability keeping your weight in this position throughout all of the exercises. I won't mention it anymore, but I just mentioned it at the beginning. So we'll start with exercise number one, uh, pressing two hands towards the heavens. Inhale as your hands rise. Exhale as your hands turn out. And inhale as your hands push up towards the ceiling. Exhale as your hands come back down and repeat. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right. Number two, um, shooting the bow and arrow. Inhale, two soft fists up, and then one fist is gonna pull back on the bow string, and the other hand opens up to push the bow away. And looking between your thumb and your first finger as like uh, get in, fixing your gaze on a target, and let the bowstring go, let the arrow fly, both hands stretch out, back down. Inhaling up, inhaling as you pull the bowstring, opposite side this time. Exhaling as you let the bowstring go, stretch out both arms and back down. Inhaling up, inhaling as you pull the bowstring, keeping your knees slightly bent and exhaling as you let it go. Inhaling, inhaling as you pull and exhaling as you let it go. Inhaling, inhaling, exhaling 
exhaling, inhaling, inhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Bringing that exercise to a close. And number three, separating heaven and earth. Go ahead and shift all of your weight onto one foot. Again, the weight is more towards the front of your foot. That same side hand is going to press down and behind you a little bit if you can. And the other hand is going to press up. As flat as you can get your hand towards the ceiling and as flat as you can get your hand towards the floor, um, don't straighten the elbows. You want your elbows to be a little bent. Exhale as you bring your hands back to center and shift your weight. Inhaling, separating the hands, and exhaling back to center, shifting your weight. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. Bringing that exercise to a close. Wise owl gazes behind, or the cure for all diseases. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Palms are gonna be at your side. And as you rotate, your palms are gonna rotate as well, turning the face forward. So start with your palms facing behind here. Soft knees, let your, bend, let your knees bend even a little bit, assuming that's comfortable for you. And as you inhale, you're going to twist your spine, your shoulders, your neck and your head, and your eyes looking behind you as your palms rotate the face forward. Exhaling, unwinding back to center, opposite direction. Inhaling as you twist in your spine, your shoulders, neck and head and eyes, as your palms turn to face forward. Exhaling, untwist. Inhaling, looking behind you and exhaling untwist. Inhaling, looking behind you. This should be easy. Only move as far as is easy to do. If there's any strain, then don't twist so far. Exhaling, back to center. Bringing that one to a close. Big Bear wags its tail. You're going to take a wider stance. And for this one, you do want to turn your feet so you're pointing off in 45 degrees in each direction. Bend your knees a little bit so you're in a, in a little squat. Put your hands on your hips. Bending only in your hip, not thrusting with your head. You're going to lean towards one side. So all the bend happens in your hip, not in your back not thrusting your head forward, just in the hip, and then swinging around towards the front, and now your weight shifting onto both feet, and now you're leaning into the opposite leg, opposite hip, all the bend happening in the hip, and swinging up on that side, and then weight comes back so you're on both feet now. And just reversing that, leaning, into the hip, bending there, coming towards the center, and now onto the other leg, and coming back on up. So we'll add the breath. Go ahead and take a deep breath. On your exhale, lean, sinking into the hip. Continue to exhale as you swing towards the middle place, and now start your inhale, opposite leg, up, and reverse that. Exhale, leaning into the hip, and now towards the center of both feet, and inhale, and back on up. 
And we'll go ahead and bring that to a close. Uh, reach for the toes and then for the sky, standing with your feet fairly close together. Both hands on your low belly, below your belly button. Inhale your hands towards your back. Exhale down the backs of your legs. Inhale up the front and then both hands up towards the sky. Again, with elbows bent and exhale back on down. Inhale across your waist towards your low back. Oh, that was an inhale, if I said that. Exhale down the back of the legs. Inhale up through the front. Up towards the sky and exhale back to center. Inhale across your waist. Exhale down the back. And inhale up the front. And exhale back on down, bringing that to a close. Okay, number seven, punching with an angry gaze. Also, uh, you could uh, switch the word angry as determination, punching with determination. <clears throat> uh, so you're gonna shift all of your weight onto one leg and punch with the opposite fist, soft fist. Same side hand is gonna come down and block by your side. And then switching feet, punching and blocking and back to the other side. Inhale as you punch and exhale as you release, switching to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Focusing your eyes on a target, inhale as you punch. Exhale as you let it go and switch. Inhale and exhale, switch. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. And letting that go. And to finish shaking the body, saw, bend your knees a little bit and just jiggle your legs. Your feet are bouncing into the floor, just creating a jiggle all the way through your body, filling it through your shoulders, letting your arms hang heavy, letting your arms uh, drape off of your torso like a coat would hang off of a hanger and just giving a, a gentle jiggling massage to all of your lymph, all of your internal organs, smoothing out the previous exercises. And then we bring that one to a close. Okay. So these are, these are short and sweet. Um, if you want something to practice along with. Uh, I will be putting one of these uh, up, one of these recordings up onto YouTube so you can follow along with this um, in between classes. And I also have the one with music where I, I don't give any instruction, but it's got uh, nice cello music and it's very um, flowing and smooth and uh, I'm not talking. So thank you everybody. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to email me or bring them next time. Okay, take care, everybody. We'll see you later.